Hi again, everybody. Al Pulowski here with the Athletic Director for Cleveland State, Scott Garrett, talking about CSU, what went on this past month, and what we can look forward to coming up here in the early portion of 2021. Scott, how are you doing today? Good, Al. It's great to see you. Uh, I think, when, when did we see you last? A couple weeks ago at the game? Yeah, it was it was all good against Youngstown State. A couple of wins. And speaking of that, Scott, let's start off with that. That was the first event at the Wolstein Center since March 15th, our first home game since late February of last year. And it came off pretty well without a hitch. Two wins. I thought the arena looked great. I thought the cardboard cutouts looked great. We got a lot of good response, a lot of good feedback. Overall, your impressions of that day and, and how everybody you know, made that day work from a Cleveland State perspective. Yeah, all really good things. I mean, first, it was great to, to be back at, a, at an event, seeing our student athletes get a chance to compete um, in our home venue. It had been a long time. Um, I, you know, I, a shout out to our resocialization group uh, chaired by Deputy Athletics Director Kelsey Gorey Harkey. Um, the work that went in um, to our department protocols and pre preparation required to host an event um, safely and responsibly. Um, it really took a lot of time and effort on a lot of people's part. Um, and also shout out to the Wolstein Center crew um, for their work and in, in getting the arena ready. Um, Set it, setting up the, the floor in a different way. Um, really just shout out to all of our staff um, to, to be in a position to host a game um, or two games like that really successfully. Um, obviously there's a few tweaks here and there. Anytime you do something for the first time, you learn about things that are working well and things that maybe need to be re-examined. But for the most part, um, we, we really, really did those two events, the two men's basketball games successfully. And you know, now we're looking forward to hosting more events um, in basketball throughout the next um, six or eight weeks. And Scott, you take a look at this men's basketball team. It's, uh, they're off to their best start in conference play in six years, off to their uh, best start, well, winning streak wise in six years, best start in league play since 2007, 2008, a perfect six and zero, first place all by themselves. Uh, their RPI ranking, when the week started was number 19 in the entire country. The success of men's basketball, I guess those of us that have been around the program and Dennis Gates knew that this was very possible. But for you, from your perspective as the athletic director, what's been the reason for Cleveland State's really solid big time success here these last few weeks? Yeah, I mean, it's very exciting to, to see the progress that we've made um, over the last two seasons. Um, certainly the, the excitement that we had to be competitive um, throughout the course of last season, which led to Coach Gates' Co-Coach of the Year honors. Um, the, the, the early start that we had, obviously we, we had a couple hiccups in the non-conference season, a very limited non-conference season that Coach really used uh, as an opportunity to kind of work, work through a rotation. Normally you'd have nine or 10 games to kind of figure that out. This year we had three, um, so it wasn't necessarily ideal, but to see our progress week to week, um, to see the guys battle on the court, um, you know, both offensively and defensively to see uh, is how much depth we have. Coach Gates talked a lot when he was hired about the depth that he would build and how everyone would contribute. And we probably would see different leading scorers every night or different guys that would impact the game in different ways. Um, and you set all that aside, the progress we've made off the court, right? And in, in the classroom, um, from a cultural perspective in terms of community service, the relationship between our coaches and our student athletes, all of that is, is headed in such a good direction that, that um, there's no question that there's gonna be continued bright spots ahead. Um, and we'll continue to build on, on this momentum that we have both, both on the court and then hopefully in the stands here uh, eventually down the road. Talking with Scott Garrett, Athletic Director for Cleveland State. Uh, Scott, the other side of basketball, the women's side, they had a real good weekend too. In fact, the first weekend in 2021, a great start for Cleveland State basketball, men's and women's, an Indiana sweep. The men take care of business in Indianapolis, the women in Fort Wayne. Uh, Mariah White had 36 points too, pretty special. And Coach K is just a win away from 450 as a head coach. So the women's basketball team is, is doing pretty well here of late as well. Yeah, it was a, it was a three screen uh, event on uh, a Friday and Saturday. We had uh, bowl games on, on the, the television and our ESPN Plus or ESPN three streams for men's and women's basketball going on at the same the same time. So there was a lot to pay attention to, um, you know, to walk away uh, coming out of Indiana with four 
with four wins, um, two in men's basketball, two in women's basketball. Um, and then for the women's basketball to really do that um, as well as they did with very short notice. Um, we were supposed to have traveled to Northern Kentucky and um, per um, some of our, our protocols on campus, we were not able to facilitate that trip. We got a call from the conference late on New Year's Eve um, asking whether you know we'd be um, available to, to travel to Fort Wayne instead. Um, and, and Coach Gilsmeyer and I discussed it and pretty quickly um, came to the conclusion that we've got a healthy team. Um, they're ready to compete. Uh, we don't have anything as a backup plan solidified. And so, you know, let's get on the road tomorrow and go play two games. And it's always nice when you make that decision. It's a little easier the next time to make that decision when you go on the road and, and win those two games. And, and really awesome to see Mariah, um, you know, come to life on the court. Uh, you know, she's such a great student athlete, a great person, great representative for Cleveland State, doing all um, the leadership on our diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts um, for our student athlete advisory committee. She's just she's such a great person, high character, um, and to see her come out and have success and, and affect her teammates in that way and, and get Coach Kielsmeyer one, one more win away from, from another important milestone. Um, we look forward to, to um, making that, that celebratory trophy commemorative 450 victory ball and hopefully presenting it to uh, Coach after, after this weekend's games. Yeah, that would certainly be great. And Scott, you touched on it just a moment ago, uh, the success in the classroom of the student athletes too, really for uh, the entire athletic department, the, the student athletes are doing great. Basketball, it seems, especially the men's basketball team really doing well. But the fall semester GPAs, once again, pretty impressive. Yeah, shout out to all 340 or so of our, our student athletes, all 18 sport programs. Uh, second straight semester with uh, each of them with a term GPA over a 3.0 for their teams. Um, that is the first time that has happened in program history. We've got our all, all time high cumulative grade point average and this term GPA collectively for all 18 sport programs was um, the, the highest, uh, second highest term GPA. Um, and that's on the heels of about a month ago announcing our graduation success rates that the NCAA measures and, and we're you know, very high with a, a 92 GSR, one of the highest public school graduation success rates in the country. And that, that certainly is at the, at the top of our culture when we talk about athletic success. It starts in the classroom. It starts with recruiting student athletes that are committed. Um, when they come to Cleveland State to have that transformational experience in the classroom, to really commit to themselves to um, navigating the academic journey in a successful way. And then to have our academic staff led by Tyler Merillat and Winnie Lane and Megan Saniti um, and our coaches, right, our head coaches and assistant coaches, for all of that staff to really wrap their arms around our student athletes and make sure they navigate through uh, academics as, as successfully as possible, especially when it's impacted by a pandemic and you've got some of your classes remote and some online um, and in this hybrid approach. Um, it is certainly not easy. Uh, I know how difficult it is for our student athletes to, to navigate in this environment while they're you know worried about what their seasons are going to look like from practice and competition standpoint. And we look forward to continued success in, the, in that regard. We're really excited about it. Athletic Director Scott Garrett joining us from Cleveland State University. Uh, Scott, the early bird season tickets for next year for men's basketball, and with the way the men's team is playing right now, it might be a good idea uh, to get your bids in early for these to get some good seats. But tell me about this program that we have now where you can get season tickets for next year right now and get a discount. Yeah, so the, the texts were uh, flying around our staff over the weekend as we secured those two uh, uh, two more wins and got to a point where we were six and zero of you know how do how do we make sure we take advantage of this and so um for for tyler jones and um carrie neville and and uh brandon longmire and justin malloy and and those on our staff that um have been hard at work um positioning ourselves to really um capitalize on this success kudos to them for being ahead of the process to be prepared that um, we'll put season tickets for next year for the 2021-22 season on sale. Um, from now through the end of the season, if you buy a full season ticket package or make a deposit on a full season ticket package, um, you'll get a 20% discount. Um, and you'll also get a complimentary CSU basketball t-shirt or hat. Um, and we'll give that out next season when folks are able to come to games. In addition, if you pay for a full season ticket package outright, between now and 
however long this winning streak goes, we hope for several more weeks, um, you'll get bonus complimentary uh, general admission season tickets for any season ticket purchase of four or more. So if you buy four floor seats or four lower level seats and um, our winning streak continues, then you'll also get um, that same amount of season tickets in, in the general admission areas of the Wolstein Center next year. So you can invite friends and family and other people that, that should be exposed to men's basketball and hopefully that continues the momentum that we've seen on the court into into the stands and we're excited to be able to offer that yeah i think that's really a great plan too scott and, and it gives the fans an opportunity that are behind this program to take advantage and get some extra seats i love the thought of hey yeah they, you can come bring a whole group to the game and, and cleveland state basketball especially with the brand that dennis gates is playing right now and with so many kids contributing it is really a lot of fun if you're an alum, great. But even if you're not a Cleveland State alum, this is Cleveland's college basketball team, isn't it? That's right. Um, we're building a brand, and you know we had really good success through the end of last season. We grew our actual in-venue attendance by 50% year over year. Um, certainly, this winning streak, we'd you know we'd be selling tickets like crazy right now for games that we've got um, here in the Wolstein Center in the future. Um, without the opportunity to do that, we're just hopeful that we get ourselves in a position where we can really start to make a difference in the stands next year and really turn this into one of the best home court advantages, certainly in the Horizon League, but hopefully in all of college basketball eventually. One of the things that Cleveland State Athletics and the university in this COVID time is struggling with is budget. And uh, every college is and everybody is. But Giving Day this year is on February 16th. Uh, and Giving Day is always important for CSU Athletics, Scott. But it's even, of, I think, a little bit more important here in 2021, isn't it? It is. And, I, you know, I don't want to overstate the importance of it because we're so appreciative of all of our fans and alumni and, and friends that have contributed to Giving Days in the past. Um, all of those gifts have been instrumental in the success of our individual sport programs. But um, this year has obviously been a year unlike any other. Um, and and we, do, we do have financial needs. Um, you know, we have scaled back from an operational budget standpoint this year um, relative to travel. Um, but you know, our ability to, to run, to continue to run the department and provide that transformational experience to our student athletes means that we have to continue to generate more and more external resources and not just rely on institutional support for our budget. And so um, we're hopeful to, to get, you know, 2020 or more um, gifts, individual gifts, and hopefully set another giving day record. Last year, we approached $300,000 in gifts to our 18 sport programs and the Viking Fund um, at last year's Giving Day. And so February 16th, 2021 Giving Day, um, uh, I look forward to sharing with our, our coaches and, and staff all of the, the various needs our, our programs have and opportunities for those that, that want to support, um, for one, us to set a new record, but two, what specifically those um, donations will provide for our 340 or so student athletes that are in our sport programs. That's great. And we'll talk more about it on the radio and on our streaming as we get closer to it. But if people would like more information on it, csuvikings.com, your ultimate place to go for Cleveland State Athletics, always updating what's happening there. But you can go to the website and get some info. That's right. We'll be mailing out to anybody that's donated over the last several years. Um, save the date postcard and some, some more details in a letter um, about what the benefits are for contributing. Each of our own sport programs typically put together some prizes, um, opportunities for, for donors that participate on Giving Day, and we'll be doing that again. Um, again, I know it's a, it, it may not be the best time for everybody um, to be in a position, um, so certainly you know want want to ask with with that in mind that um, this year may not may not be the year that folks can support, but any support at any level is instrumental in, in the overall dollars that we're able to raise on that day and, um, and moving forward. And, and we'll certainly put them to good use, right? Travel, nutrition, recruiting, um, equipment, uh, our ability to, to really affect student athletes from, an, from a um, sports medicine or a strength and conditioning um, or an academic support per, uh, perspective. All of those things are impacted by what we can do on Giving Day, and, and we're looking forward to um, having folks support. And if, if you want to be a lead donor or do a matching um, challenge donation, certainly reach out to one of our head coaches or to me personally, and we're happy to help facilitate that to meet the needs of, of the interested donors. 
And again, for more information, csuvikings.com. And, and we'll be talking about this as well in our broadcast uh, on men's basketball, too. And speaking of men's basketball, uh, other sports coming here again, Scott. And boy, it's going to be busy because some fall sports, typically traditional fall sports, are going to be playing along with spring sports, right? That's right. So we've been hard at work um, with the Horizon League on our um, sport uh, scheduling for all of the fall sports that have been rescheduled into the spring and then our natural spring sports. And we've still got a couple winter sports that have yet to start either. We've got wrestling, who hopefully will, will start their experience on the mat for the 2021 season here shortly. Um, we've got fencing and swimming and diving that we're uh, monitoring what we can do with their schedules from a competition perspective. Um, this is gonna be a very unique uh, winter and spring. Uh, typically, you've got the luxury of having all these sports spread out over a longer period of time. And, um, you know, I wanna thank our staff for the collaboration and the uh, um, optimistic approach that they've taken that um, we'll, we'll navigate whatever obstacles there are in terms of practices or competitions. Uh, to have all these sports competing at the same time is gonna be um, incredibly challenging but we're up for it because our student athletes want to compete. They're here to train and compete um, and try to win championships. And, and we're going to do whatever it takes to help facilitate that as long as it continues to be safe to, to, to do so. There he is, Athletic Director Scott Garrett from Cleveland State University. I'm Al Pulowski. Thanks for watching us here today, and we'll talk to you again soon.